United States is uh, one of these country when uh, as soon as you arrive, you feel at home. Our seminaries are the heart of the society. In every different situation, the grace of God is working always. The joys and the concern of the priests are the joys and the concern of our Lord. Father Davide Pagliarani visited the United States for the first time since becoming Superior General of the Society of St. Pius X. Although he was available only for canonical visits during the Prior's meeting in Winona and additional meetings at St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary, Angelus Press was able to ask him some questions for his first ever English-speaking interview. Actually, I think uh, this is not just a problem of the English-speaking countries. To give an example, a few weeks back in Paris, a priest asked me my name. So <laughs> it's always a bit embarrassing to say I'm the superior general. <laughs> so I was a bit embarrassed, but he was embarrassed as well. <laughs> yes. Actually, I spent uh, most of my time as a priest uh, either in Italy or in the Far East, in Singapore, for three years, and recently in the Far South, in Argentina, for almost seven years, yes, till uh, last July. I think uh, our opportunity and our task as well, our duty, is to keep the treasure we have, to appreciate it uh, as uh, it merits. Our faith, the Holy Mass, but I think it's important that uh, this treasure is for us a living treasure, like the living water of the Samaritan woman. And this is, this is extremely important. Um, we, we need more and more, I think, uh, to appreciate this treasure with uh, a prayerful life and a life full, uh, full of fervor, spiritual fervor. Yes. Maybe we need to rekindle once in a while and this year can be the occasion to rekindle. We are preparing for the jubilee of the society to rekindle in our spiritual life eh, this uh, attachment, this deep attachment to this treasure. Yes. Actually, I'm not traveling a lot because um, it is a wish of uh, the chapter of all the superiors that the superior general remains at the general house as much as possible in order to be always available for uh, the different uh, needs of the society and uh, joinable by the different priests or superiors who are wishing to talk to him. My duty is a duty of fidelity to the spirit of the founder, Archbishop Lefebvre. My first duty is to do my best in order to keep, even if the situation is very different, to keep the spirit and the teaching that the founder entrusted to the society. Right now, there are uh, everywhere signs of growth, uh, not only in the States, but everywhere. 
which is on the one hand a sign of a blessing. We are blessed by that. During the last few years, uh, more and more there are Catholics who are uh, getting aware of the crisis of the Church and little by little they, they are getting aware of, as well of their causes. So this is a quite interesting uh, uh, point for us. We have to follow it. We have to help them. But at the same time, we can go everywhere. We can go everywhere. We need to take care of our priests. And uh, we still have occasions. But our priests, they, they need time to settle. They need time to share the community life, which is a very important part of our status and of our duties. So we will do our best to go where providence is calling us. But at the same time, first of all, we can't forget it. We have to take care of our priests. Our seminaries are the heart of the society. The society is built on its seminaries and it exists because of its seminaries. So the church as well doesn't need anything else but holy priests. So it is impossible to find out a better way to serve the Church. Through our seminaries, we are cooperating to the good of the Universal Church. That was the great intuition of uh, the Council of Trent, the great intuition of Bishop Lefebvre. And the more this great ideal of the priesthood is going down, is losing, uh, the more I think uh, it's important our fidelity uh, to this uh, task, which is uh, our mission as well. The main concern, the main concern of Catholic family today is the same we have as priests, the soul of their children. The world is doing its best to, in order to deceive them. So all the parents are concerned about that, as we are concerned as well. I think we have to teach the children together with the parents and the parents have to teach their children together with the priest. Teach them uh, all the virtues that the children can uh, learn elsewhere. Self-denial, purity, chastity, charity. But it will work if in the families, at home, at, in the parish, not only they will receive the teaching, but they will perceive their parents and the priests living what they preach. It works by osmosis. If really the parents, they have this great ideal to form, to prepare saints with the grace of God, it will work. But it will work if at home the children, they can notice in their parents the spirit of sacrifice, which is the perfume of the cross.
Yes, I think uh, we can make uh, so far a large commentary. Wouldn't be prudent. But I think what is interesting in the last motu proprio concerning the Ecclesi Dei, uh, it emphasizes that the main issues which is still there, outstanding as an outstanding issue, is a doctrinal one. And it is true. And this uh, doctrinal deal, doctrinal issue, it is an issue concerning the society of Pius X. I think in its sense, in uh, this perspective, things are getting clear, more clear to us and to them and to everybody. But I think it is not our task to foresee what is going to be the future of the different communities uh, Ecclesia Dei. We pray for them. If we can help them, we are here. But uh, I think it will be prudent to say anything else about the future. We will see, we will observe. And we leave uh, the last word to Divine Providence as usual. The main uh, danger for our faithful and even for the priest nowadays is to fall into discouragement. So I think it's time to remind uh, us and to remind them that the more you get the impression that the situation is hopeless, the more the moment of the victory is approaching. St. Pius X used to say this in order to encourage people. And uh, the density, the present density of the darkness is functional to the shining of the truth when the moment of the triumph of the truth will come. It is important for us to keep this supernatural sight. Whatever is going on today will be used by God in order to show a deeper, a greater, a more shining, more supernatural triumph of uh, His Church and of the truth. Yes, the Church is a family, is a big family, and the society as a work of the Church is a family as well, a big family. And inside a family, you share everything. The best way the faithful, they can share everything with the priest, is to give, to give them their moral support, to share their joys and their concern because uh, the joys and the concern of the priests are the joys and the concern of our Lord. This proximity is the best way to fulfill this great ideal of the union between faithful and priests. United States is uh, one of these country when uh, as soon as you arrive you feel at home. What uh, is uh, impressing me the most is the number of the faithful but even more their simplicity and their generosity. 
and uh, I find the same simplicity and same generosity in the priests here in the U.S. So I think what the faithful they show is they reflect, is reflecting what the, the priests are teaching them. Yes, what, uh, in general, what uh, impressed me the most during my priesthood, the years of my priesthood, is the very fact that having worked in different countries, in very different situations, between Asia, South America, Italy, in the missions, or as a district superior, part of the seminary, In every different situation, the grace of God is working always and everywhere according to some rules which uh, are universal. Of course, we know that, I'm not telling you anything uh, new, but when uh, you get this experience personally, you are impressed. This is the proof that the gospel, the law of the gospel, the sacraments, the church, is for everybody and there is nothing else which can make the unity among people who are so different from each other. This is really amazing. You can't explain this uh, on a natural basis. The work of God, the grace of God, is behind. Yes, I experienced uh, several times on a personal basis that uh, before a difficult situation, striving to find a solution, fighting to find a solution which is not coming, uh, the solution came after I stopped to worry and uh, I entrusted everything to the will of God. It's not always uh, easy to do that, but uh, I experienced several times, which is the law uh, of the cross and uh, I would say the law of the full confidence in God.